this segment, fastest segment on television. It's our hashtag rapid fire round. We reserve this segment each evening to zip through just as many trending topics as we possibly can with our expert guest. And tonight, that expert guest is blogger extraordinaire Amanda Lauren. Amanda, welcome to America Trends. Hi. Hi. All right. Uh, got a lot to talk about tonight, Amanda. A lot of things trending. Henry Heimlich, the man famous for developing the Heimlich Maneuver, is trending today. He's 96 years old. I guess I'm surprised he's still alive. Anyway, he was at a restaurant in Cincinnati earlier this week, and he actually used the Heimlich Maneuver to save a person who was choking. But that isn't surprising, right? I mean, he probably does that all the time, just waiting around restaurants to save people oh, yeah. from choking. He's retired. <laughs> He's got nothing else going on. Of course, I'm sure he's doing that. Is that crazy? 95 years old and saving lives. That's cool. The Good website. For yeah, the website uh, Gawker trending today after it was revealed that billionaire businessman Peter Thiel was uh, funding Hulk Hogan's lawsuit against the company. And he must have funded the best lawyer around because Hulk Hogan, as you know, won his $140 million. But people were really surprised to find out that Peter Thiel was, one, was the one funding this lawsuit. Why is that? You know what, he's trying to prevent free speech and I think that's really unfortunate, but I think the good thing that can come out of this lawsuit is that Hulk Hogan can finally afford to buy a decent wig with all that money. <laughs> that is gonna be a pretty wig. I hadn't even thought of that. Like finally, he has the cash to buy the wig of his dreams, real human hair. I, I, Amanda, I think he needs to take us shopping with him because I think I could be a good wig picker outer. I don't know. Me too, yeah. me too. Yeah, we, we, we will be on that. All right, Disney CEO Bob Iger has been trending, uh, or rather has been taking heat from Bernie Sanders this week as Bernie has been campaigning in California. Bernie says Disney is taking advantage of workers by giving them jobs and not paying them enough. And Bob Iger said in a Facebook post, how many jobs have you created? Iger kind of burned Bernie with that response, wouldn't you say? You know what? Um, I think that if your job is to sit in a Mickey Mouse costume with that giant head in 90 degree heat with five-year-olds drooling all over you and pulling at you, I don't really know if you can put a price on how much that's worth because <laughs> I'm sure that person is not being paid enough. <laughs> well, I don't know. It seems like the Disney people always seem pretty happy when I'm there. But of course, you can't really tell if they're smiling behind the princess Happiest costumes. Happiest place on earth. Happiest it, place it seems on like it. earth. It seems like it. I, I'm happy when I'm there. I know that. And nobody's paying me to be there. All right, there's a new design for an iPhone coming out. And did I mention that I got a new Apple i? It, it, and they are not an advertiser. I just want to say that. But mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying this Apple uh, wrist thing because I can always just glance at it. See if I, anyway. Apple Watch. What did I say? Apple wrist thing? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I have talked for about eight of the last eight hours, okay? So it's just not, the brain's not clicking anymore. Anyway, new design for iPhone coming out. This one features an all glass case. It reminds me of a princess glass slipper, speaking of Disney. Um, I break my iPhones anyway, so I guess I might as well have a glass case, right? It, it, you know what? That's the big problem with the iPhone is that it doesn't break easily enough. So <laughs> luckily they found a solution to this problem. Make it break more easily. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think I'm with an anti-anxiety app because I would I break my phone so much. I'd be so nervous to have that. Yeah, well, you know, me too, but I, I think it's kind of become my trademark to just always have lots of cracks. I, mean, I just got it repaired a couple weeks ago. Me too. I broke it the next day. I just, it's what I do. I, it's a special skill. Not everyone's blessed with it. Actress Jennifer Esposito actually started a bakery, and she got into a little trouble over it. She's being sued for claiming her products at her bakery are gluten-free, but... Today we find out she just moved to Denmark. Is she trying to run from her problems here? No, I think she's researching Danish recipes. That's what she's, <laughs> that's what she's going to Denmark for. Lots of gluten-free, yeah, I don't oh, think so. Gluten-free Danishes. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yes, ooh. All right, uh, this is sad. This always bums me out to hear this. Uh, screech. Screech, he's in jail again. The former Saved by the Bell star Dustin Diamond was arrested in Wisconsin this week. What did he do this time, Amanda? He violated his probation. I, I don't even want to know what this guy did to violate his probation, but uh, I think he'll do anything to stay relevant and stay in the news. Uh, it's unfortunate. Not, not a good week to be a former child star. 
No, I'm always always kind of worried about worried about him these days. All right, uh, a very romantic proposal trending today. A man used a Super Mario Brothers video game to spell out the words "marry me" and have a ring pop up on a mushroom in the game. Um, am I out of touch with the video game generation? Because I can't say that if someone proposed to me like that, that I would accept. You know what? I thought it was adorable. I thought it was really sweet. The, I saw the video. They were a really cute couple. Um, it's not the way I would like to be proposed to, but um, I hope in addition to the gold coins, there's a gold ring, maybe with a diamond on it, that uh, we didn't see in that video, because she deserves it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just I think I would see my future with him sitting on a couch playing a video game and me like, come on, honey, let's, I don't know, do something. Game anything. over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trending again today, and it isn't because they uh, smuggled dogs into Australia this time. Amanda Heard says Johnny Depp abused her and that she wants a divorce and a restraining order. They haven't been married very long, but this looks like it's not heading in a good direction. What do you say? I, I think this is so unfortunate, and I think that, you know, this puts a different face on domestic violence, that it can even happen to beautiful movie stars like Amber, um, and that the people who we think are the perpetrators, or we think would not be the perpetrators, are. And um, I just hope she can come out stronger and that women in similar situations can see her as a role model. So I just, I, I think her bravery should be you know, applaud it. She, she's amazing for, for coming out because it can't be easy. Can't be easy. Uh, you just wonder how much the whole dog situation stressed them out because I, that had to be, you know, a pretty stressful thing. You take your dogs, you, you probably, you know, you're on a private jet. You probably aren't thinking that it's going to be a big deal, but it's the law and uh, they thought they were above it and a lot of Hollywood does. And so I can imagine that would be pretty stressful. Appreciate you being with us, Amanda. You can find Thank Amanda. You. Absolutely. Glad to have you. Find her at itsamandalauren.com. And uh, coming up next.